All right, I think I know what to use here. Because these are ground also, missions. Wait. Go ahead. Speaking of, I'm still pissed about how, like, what happened to Metal Gear Solid Five, and subsequently the whole franchise. Like, Army. on the topic of Kojima games. It's fucking those fuckers that I will not name, because I don't respect them enough to do that. But, like... It's so obvious that, like, Phantom Pain was supposed to be so much more than it ended up being. It ended up being less than half a game with a bunch of cut content, where the latter half of the game <laughs> is just replaying all of the old missions with fucking difficulty modifiers. And I was like, fucking... Fuck you! No, 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 no. Sorry, that's just my mini outburst. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. Right, so it's not unlocked. Kojima yet. Games came up. Item has not been unlocked yet. Alright. <clears throat> uh, oh yeah, that's right. There's a Disney movie called Strange World. Um, I'm interested. Hmm. Also, um, Golden, I think you may be interested in this, so Del Toro is gonna is gonna be releasing his own take of Pinocchio on Netflix. I've heard of that, and it's like it's gonna be so confusing for so many people. Like which like which Pinocchio movie? There's that, and there's the Disney live action they're doing, and like there's also like a bizarre version that was made like a year ago. What the fuck are they doing a live action Pinocchio? Polly Shore of all people. Wasn't that already a live action Pinocchio? Jonathan Taylor Thomas, yeah. There's multiple. That's... Just uh, but the, the, look, the reason Disney. I'm if you want to make remakes, why don't you try and do some of those movies that aren't as popular as your current ones, but do them right this time? Because I like, swear well, down, I was like, yeah. because I swear down, if you put Tom Holland in the Atlantis movies, you would make so much bank, you might fucking shit yourself. Yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, Just, like they casted him to be a part of um that Uncharted movie, which. Yes, I heard it wasn't very good, but he's 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 capable of doing action flicks. It's just you need a good script and. But at Atlantis Holland, has go ahead. Holland is perfect for Milo. Let's be real. Yeah, exactly. He been perfect for Lo Milo. Like he even admitted it himself. Like go get that Atlantean vagina, my guy. Oh, it's dude, the... go scoring Kita. <laughs> Who would be good cast for Kita though? Oh shit! Uh, shit! Shit! No! 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 Oh god! Zendaya? I'm sorry. Uh, Zendaya. I'm not well versed. Well, MJ in from um, she's death. MJ from um, from the from the Marvel Spider-Man movies. Like I don't know who would be a good fit because I'm not well versed in all of the actors and stuff. But like, no. I imagine they would know who to go for. Oh, no, 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 no. Other way, other way, other way! This is like... Oh, my know, God. Re regardless of who they get, it's just, like, just do something with these IPs that it's you'll like, fight tooth and nail for, but you won't fucking do anything with. It's like, they, it's like, if they want to do remakes, fine. But do remakes on the movies that didn't do well for you. So you can Ooh. make max profit on everything because and the people... remakes of your popular shit are just going to have diminishing returns because who wants to watch The Lion King twice? Or exactly. just, except, like, much more lifeless and shit. Oh, it's so realistic. The Lion King never needed to be realistic. It was more emotional, if anything. And just the shit that happened in that movie... It... Uh, I, I'm well... trying to hold myself together from going on a goddamn tangent. <laughs> I get fine. you. <laughs> but it's like, also, right, well. the biggest problem there is if Disney wanted to make The Lion King more realistic, the events of The Lion King wouldn't have happened. Do you know why? Hmm. Mufasa probably would have fucking killed Simba, because lion's prides don't really have young lions in them. They have a lot of lionesses, but if Simba somehow managed to survive and challenged his father then Simba would have to kill all of the cubs that Mufasa made that hadn't grown up yet. Bet no one thought about that, did they? No. They did not. Oh, basically, God, a realist is like, basically, a realistic Lion King, if they wanted to be really realistic, is peak fucked up, 
and would turn into a horror movie. Yeah, really. Because Mufa because Mufasa would be the villain, and Scar wouldn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> when no brothers still exist in 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 packs. Yeah, but like. Well, the thing is, he wouldn't like, be the it's, villain. it's clear that Scar would have challenged Mufasa <laughs> at some point and got exiled, though, because like also, Lions. Pri- go ahead. Like the whole thing about Lions Prides is that, like, yeah, all this stuff exists, but at some point, you know, the biggest guy is gonna kick out or murder all of the not biggest guys. No, 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 no. The other way, other way, other way. It's oh. a, ironically a very lion eat lion world. <laughs> Yeah, not to mention, like, at that point, after, like, Mufasa would be killed off by Scar, Scar would just kill off, Muf- like, Simba immediately. Yeah. Instead of letting like the hyenas chase that. I, that's yeah, what like, I yeah. mean. Like, he would just kill him off himself instead of letting the hyenas do the job. Yeah, but it's yeah, not because... going for realism. So that's kind of the... That's yeah, what but the live-action live movie tried to do! That's my point! Like, oh, the yeah, biggest... Whole... Like, yeah, the biggest... Boy... The biggest problem with the concept of going for realism in, in some of these stories is that the realism defeats the narrative. Lion King can't exist outside of the fantasy realm because if it did, Simba and Scar <laughs> no Simba and Scar would be dead as fuck. Yeah, they would. There would have to be a lot of subterfuge for that not to happen. It's sort of similar to how they want to do a remake. I think they are. I can't be so sure. They want to do a remake of Hunchback of Notre Dame. Which, no! If no. they were to do a quote-unquote accurate live adaptation of Hunchback of Notre Dame... It'd be uh, R. I, it'd be rated R, considering yeah. how very, very fucked the original book was. Yeah, no, as like, yeah. as I may recall, I think Quasimodo pushed uh, Frollo off of the... Uh, oh, Jesus! Pushed Ooh. him off of the building. Yeah, mm. there was also uh, the fact that Frollo was actually more heroic in the novel, and um, what's his face? Um, well, that his and novel? well, that and nearly everyone died in the original novel too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was mention, not um, a friendly book. <laughs> it was not. Yeah, and actually, the only quote unquote no. hero of the book is, ironically enough, the fucking uh, Notre Dame itself, considering yeah. that the cathedral. You- yeah, the cathedral, because um, Victor Hugo really loved the architecture of Notre Dame, describing it oh, yeah. God knows how many times in the book. Yep. Could you imagine how he'd feel nowadays, knowing that it caught fire? Ah! Uh, Jesus, dude. That's just pouring like, salt he... in the wound. God, Damn. Like, that, that was I'm glad a... that it survived. It survived! Like, it's a beautiful God, building. But but it's, it's scarred, like... though. Yeah. It's going to take really? years for the um, for the spire and the roof to be built back up, though. I'm still wondering how the fuck that happened. Um, it, apparently it was um an electrical <gasps> fire that caused it. I think. Just don't have power running to the fi- who the fuck needs power running to where the fire started in the cathedral. I have no idea, but that's what, what are you the- doing up there? We're Does Quasi of, live uh... up there? Is Quasi real? <laughs> Speaking of destruction of a uh, historical thing, I, I saw the thing about the Marilyn Monroe dress that yeah. apparently... Uh, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> I just want to say real quick, I don't have attachments to fashion-related stuff, but I also understand its significance from the point of view of many, many others, so I'm not going to sit yeah. there and say, oh, it's just a dress, because, you know, ignorance is stupidity. Yeah, um, <laughs> anybody who's not familiar, so... Long story short, Marilyn Monroe's dress, the one that she wore for JFK's birthday, that very beautiful diamond-encrusted one, Mm -hmm. Kim Kardashian, you know, the very amazing Kim Kardashian, decided she wanted to wear it for the Met Gala. Oh, boy. And even though Uh she was able to, and even though she technically could be able to get access to a replica, oh, no, she still wanted to wear the original. And the Ripley Museum that had it let her use it. Now, hit him, hit him. Thank you. Because of Kim's um, figure, unfortunately, the dress did get damaged. How oh, did they not? Oh. How yeah, did the they not take of- that into Jess. effect? Hello, Jesse. Hi. How did they not? Sorry. No, 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 I was just gonna say the back of the dress is a little bit stretched and. Several of the little diamonds that were on the back are gone. Oh no. 
It's like I can I'm only not imagine. A... I can only imagine how insulting, dude. And that dress costs, yeah. I think, like forty million dollars to make. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. In the '60s. So what we're saying yeah. is, like, so what we're saying is that you shouldn't give expensive historical things to some famous person just because they asked you nicely. The be the I simpler heard... one, the simpler one is, don't fix what isn't broken. I think I I ended up once reading a comment because that some people when people were sharing this thing, I read a comment that apparently she actually Kim Kardashian ended up actually buying the auctioned outfit, one of the out, out auctioned outfits that Michael Jackson wore. And she tailored it for her kid. No! Fuck? Fuck. Michael Jackson! Ooh. So like, can These... can there just be a new law that like, regardless of how fucking famous you are, you can't just take really old, really special stuff just so you can fucking ruin it for someone else? Like, can it's we just like, say that people aren't allowed to do that, please? It's like I I'm not a fashion person either. I'm very unknowledgeable about fashion, but even I can look at Marilyn Marilyn Monroe's dress and go, that's historical because yeah. one. It was from a different time period, and two, it was worn by someone that everybody has a huge amount of respect for. Why the fuck did we allow Kim freaking Kardashian, who's literally, who, may I remind you, is only infamous because of a certain tape she made in the in the early 2000s, was allowed to touch it? Well, Boom! because they're that. famous, and famous people shouldn't have to follow the rules. Fuck they should just shit. get no. what they ask for. Sorry, I didn't mean to have verse like that. No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. No, it's just, I, I really hate that, that when it comes to people who are quote-unquote famous and rich, they think they're above everybody else, including the law. That's why famous people become criminals. They oh, just, yeah, <laughs> there's nothing that brings them back down to earth. And it really irritates me. And also, we get some fucking creeps. We get some fucking pissy people. Just, yeah, it's, it's a very fucky situation, but, you know, reality do be the big suck. Unfortunately. I just hope that someone's able to at least repair that dress in a certain way. Well, I mean, if some of the diamonds are missing, it's fucked. It's not. It's never going to be the same as it was. Yeah. Like, let's just make peace with that fact now. Someone's no. fucked it, and it's never going to be the same. And they shouldn't right. let it happen. No, you know what? You can still re you can replace the diamonds. It's just like the fabric and all that other stuff that. I'm trying to replicate about. it as close to the original as possible. Like retailer yeah. to the original size too. Like yeah. I can't imagine how difficult that would that? be. And again, I don't know why Kim Kardashian had to wear it. I mean, I'm not saying, oh, she, you know, she's fat and anything like that. Because, you know, there's her, the way that she weighs is not the problem. It's that why did she decide to fit the dress if she knew it wasn't going to fit her? Isn't it that she only wore it for like because five famous minutes person wanted She only wore dress. it for like, sorry, Logic. Um, She only wore it just to, sh just to walk around it at the Met Gala and then she took it off after that. But guys, famous person wanted to wear famous thingy. Why shouldn't they Nobody be allowed? Nobody fucking cares. Sorry, I'm. All of the people who like Kim Kardashian care. Okay, yeah. good for them. Let's Apparently, be honest, she's only famous because she's famous, and that's it. That's it. That's, that's yeah. literally the whole thing. Can't believe and here like, I'm not even. Buy, I'm not even trying to be reductive, but it's as simple as famous person wanted famous thing, and who the fuck was gonna say no? That's gonna get I mean, huh? And here I was starting to have a bit of sympathy with her because of Kanye, but at the same time, it's like, I mean, yeah, he does. She doesn't deserve that, but she's not exactly a great person either. She's not a saint either. Like, I don't think anyone outright deserves shitty things happening to them but like if you've earned it you've earned it essentially so whatever she's going through of kanye she didn't have that coming but the flack for you know fucking up a dress you knew didn't fit you yeah it's let's like not I be told, around the bush it, it's like i told a friend of mine I it's like I looking mean. at it's like looking at the infamous outfit that jacqueline kennedy wore in November, when that happened, and then thinking, I should clean it. Despite the fact that Jacqueline Kennedy flat out said, I want them to see what they did to John. Mm. Which, by the way, that dress is literally locked away in the Smithsonian, and you won't see it until, like, maybe the 2060s. Ah. Uh. Uh, speaking of celebrities, yeah. did you know that, uh, 
a, a voice actor Billy uh, Kometz passed yeah, away he, not too uh, long ago. Uh, yeah, he had uh, what was it? Colon? No, it wasn't colon. It was no, some actually, kind of cancer. Colon. It was colon cancer, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody who doesn't Fuck cancer, he's... man. Yeah. yeah. He's the one uh, who um, did, I think it was Josuke from uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Or Anai also... from Agretzko. Yeah, Anai from Agretzko as well. He also voiced it in a character from the animated series Monkey Kid. I haven't checked that out, but it looks good. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, really... it's amazing. It's just so sad that so many people, you know, die at such a young age, especially the kids. Yeah! He was 35 when he passed away! I'm like, good god! Like, you barely got your life ahead of yourself. I mean, on one hand, I commend him to doing so much at just 35. But come the fuck on, you had much more in your life to do, and then cancer comes in going, I'm gonna nope. fucking ruin this. Yeah... <sighs> yeah. I was looking at uh, some of the other casts of who voiced some of the characters from this animated series. Steve Bloom also voiced a character. Steve Bloom is in fucking everything. Yeah. I was like, I thought that voice sounded like, familiar. <laughs> you just ask, oh, what is this? I am. What is his filmography? Mm -hmm. And you just say yes. <laughs> yeah. We'll never get over the fact that when it comes to Digimon, he voiced Black War Greymon from Zero Two, and he voiced Gilmon in season in Tamer. Gilmon, the Captorman. <laughs> he also voiced uh, Rageromon and yeah, and stuff like that. As well. He was a bunch of characters in Digimon. Yeah, I mean, it, on one hand, it's just kind of amusing to hear him do cutesy voices like that compared to the very deep voice he's known for. But at the oh. same time, it just shows how talented he is. I mean, let's yeah. also not forget his most famous performance as Spike Spiegel of Cowboy Bebop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Captain Man. God, I'm just now imagining the Gilmon voice, but with Spike Spiegel. Okay, does this name ring any bells what? for anybody? Kyle Mac McCarley? Yeah, McCarley. Does that ring any bells to you guys? No. I didn't think so, because the name is new to me too. I just reached a, like, sorry for the change of subject. I just ended the mission where my main character literally shot down a politician. I just saw. Oh wow! Oh my God! Mother Goose got shot down. Like I was trying to like, no, I'm trying to stop those two. But I think it was scripted in a way, and I think this was clever game design that by accident he shot down uh, Mother Goose, which was the target I was supposed to. Also, yes, Top Gun reference, ha ha ha. But still, no shame. No shame. <laughs>